I got two Raspberry Pi B pluses here, both a Raspberry Pi B plus with a black case and um, it's got a little hole for the camera. So both of them have cameras, uh, wireless, and there's nothing else connected but the power supplies. Um, one's a standard camera, Raspberry Pi camera, and one's a camera with the infrared filter removed. And I'm just going to compare the two. Uh, both are already booted up, so just going to start it up. Okay. And I'm just going to stream videos from the two cameras. Okay, so that's about synchronized. A little ghosted image. And I'm going to turn off the lights and let's see how they both perform. Okay, they're both side to side, they're both focused to, on the same uh, ceiling. So with the lights off. Now, the one on the right is the Raspberry Pi camera. One on the left is the no IR. It's Raspberry Pi without the IR filter. Okay. So you can see one is one sees better than the other. The Raspberry Pi standard camera is darker than the Raspberry Pi with the IR filter removed. And you can buy them both uh that way, with and without the uh, Raspberry Pi uh filter without with or without the uh IR filter, which is the infrared filter, and uh, any remote control will send out a uh, infrared light. So I'm just gonna hold out my hand, and I'm just gonna with the remote light up my hand, and let's see what happens. As you can see, on the left, the no IR camera uh, lights up meaning uh, the cameras both cameras uh, by the way uh, are sensitive to infrared light just that the standard camera has an infrared light filter so that it blocks out infrared light but both are sensitive and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shine the uh, remote infrared light source into the into each camera and let's let's see what happens. I'm just gonna hold it up and just shine it. As you can see both are um, sensitive to um, infrared light. Both of them are. It's just that one is brighter than the other. It's like one is wearing sunglasses. You see one is overpowering bright and the other one is just barely lit. The standard camera just shows a tiny dot while the no IR is very bright. And it's a control experiment, both are using the same Raspbian, latest Raspbian uh, distribution, uh, both are wireless. And the only difference is the filter. So this is good for a nice uh, night vision project. As you can see, you can make a nice uh, night vision uh, scope by just shining any infrared LED which you can get at a Radio Shack or any electronic store. Or oh, mail order. Um, what else? Uh, 
Um, there's a bit of delay because uh, it's streaming. I'm using uh, VLC to stream uh, from the standard ca uh, the standard uh, command to operate the cameras of Raspi Still or Raspi uh, Vid, and then that's piped into uh, uh, VLC, which uh, I could show you. I'll just stop. I'll just pick one and I'll just show it. Cancel the server and this is the command to use. Actually, I'll just open up Notepad and show it to you. Because it's hard to see here. So, this is the command. Break it up for you. So that's the command. Which is raspy vid uh, dash uh, the letter O, a space, uh, a single dash for output, and the single dash means to stream to standard output. T is time, which is zero, which means uh, run the camera forever. And then you got the width and height, uh, frames per second, and a space, and then this is the pipe character, and it's a uh, CVLC, which is so install, uh, just install a VLC player, which is uh, app get uh, install VLC, and it's push enter. And this is three V's, space uh, stream, uh, colon three slash 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 dev slash stdin. Uh, dash dash uh, s out and there's a space there a single tick mark single quote uh, hash and an rtp and uh, with brackets and a sdp equals rtsp colon slash slash colon uh, meaning uh, yeah, that's not going to specify, not, not, that's going to specify the uh, IP, uh, colon, uh, your port number, which is 3000, or you could change the port number to whatever you want to change it to. It doesn't have to be 3000, I just chose it because it's easy to remember. And then close it up with quote, and there's a space here, colon, DMUX equals H264. Uh, uh, that's the, uh, to send the command. And then to oh, to use it, um, any VLC player, um, any VLC player, 
and you click media media on VLC player um, open network stream and what you want to do is which is network uh, enter the network URL is um, let me just copy again copy and paste for you here which would be RTSP and then whatever your IP is and the port and that's all you gotta do on VLC player now let's stream it okay uh, thanks for watching uh, good luck